वेलकम टू द सेशन एमएमपीएम 005 ब्लॉक 3 यूनिट 10 टुडे वी हैव द सेशन मैनेजिंग सर्विसेज प्रोसेस एंड व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द सर्विस प्रोसेस सर्विस प्रोसेस क्लासिफाइंग सर्विसेज प्रोसेसेस डिजाइनिंग सर्विस प्रोसेसेस कस्टमर इंफॉर्मेशन सर्विस प्रोसेसेस कस्टमर स्विचिंग एंड कंप्लेनिंग एंड सर्विस रिकवरी इश्यूज इन प्रोसेस मैनेजमेंट so service organizations when we are going to talk that uh, what way they are delivering the service that we the service process as we discussed already the uh, four p's in the seven p's cases i told that the seven p's that people and this particular process and physical evidence so people physical evidence we have already covered then now it is the process so process means how it is being delivered it may be through the machinery or it may be delivered through the service through the customer and through the employees they are going to give and depending on that particular services the standardization can be uh, seen the standardization in case of people might be uh, different but standardization in case of machine will be very uh, very often will be uh, equivalent or some similar kind of services the customers are going to get so service process uh, outline the manner and order in which service systems operate uh, as well as how the interact to produce value proposition that the customers are promised so uh, there is expectations from the customer side that uh, what kind of service they require and as i told from the beginning that uh, uh, it is a client and a service provider both of the people are working together to give the services and the value proposition can be possible when Uh, as per the requirement of the customers the service provider can able to provide that standard of services and uh, maybe value additions can be possible in the services services processes are the architecture of services which must be planned and managed to deliver the desired customer experience so pre past experience of the customers also uh, some extent uh, uh, creating a uh, disturbances in the service provisions because the uh, expectations level might be going up because of the past experience and the service provider has to provide the service as per the expectation of the customer otherwise there is a huge dissatisfaction from the customer side the process used to create and deliver the service is critical to the performance of the service of person so all the services uh, is not smooth it is also depending on the clients what way the client is supporting to the service persons and uh, this is the way the average person can able to deliver the services and the standard of the services can be determined by the operations of both the service provider and the client now sosta gave a much simplified version of the services they have the three stages of the thing a process can be broken down in logical step to facilitate analyze and control means any service provisions is there that means before providing the services to the client that must be in a process means uh, uh, what steps first steps what will be the first step what will be the second step like that uh, so there is a synchronization must be maintained between uh, the uh, stages uh, so each stages you are delivering the different kind of services so that's why the entire service process is broken down into too many steps and that is a logical steps and uh one to next uh, there is some uh, logic behind why they are keeping the first one the service second one the service like that secondly there are more than one available options of processes in which output may differ so uh, the every time the process what way they are delivering so it is also depending on the clients that whether he likes the pro process of services or not like i can say that uh, if it is a parlor is going to give the service like this the customers is not willing to take like that or a doctor is trying to give the injection to the patient and uh, the patient cannot digest the injections so he wants to insist that to give me the uh, pills or write down this one so it differs actually uh, from uh, time to time also person to person also finally each system includes the concept of deviation or tolerance standards in regulation that produces a real time phenomena so uh, what is the your tolerance time so what extent you can tolerate and that is mostly trying to see by the service provider so you cannot uh, uh, let us say if it is a time based uh, process so uh, if 
week the customer cannot tolerate for more time so you have to make it as a, a shorter duration program process so that it will be quite uh, helpful for the customer or customer can give also better feedback or maybe satisfied now the service process the first way is according to the step sequence that consisting and constitute the <coughs> process and system is complexity of the process so we have two things are there what is your complexity of process second is the divergence of the process complexity of the process is more uh, uh, tedious means more a uh, uh, lot of uh, things will be there inside that or sequence might be quite complex uh, or uh, people cannot uh, uh, know from the beginning what complex the things are there and later on they can able to understand it very well divergence is that uh, differentiation means uh, what to extend this is uh, what service is different from other services so that is also again creating uh, the problems with clients let us see this particular table we can able to understand uh, two things one is the uh, reduced divergence and increased divergence second is the reduced complexity and increased complexity what is going to happen and what are the advantages the customers are going to get and what are the disadvantages the customers are going to get so here we will find that uh, in uh, reducing divergence means uniformity would reduce cost and improve productivity like uh, uh, more is the uniform you are going to find so lesser is the uh, cost associated with the production cost to be associated with increased perceived reliability uniform service quality and greater service availability so if similar kind of services you are going to provide means the divergence is less so definitely uh, the the reliability and uniformity of the service will be there so disadvantage is what that inflexibility in operating procedure so you may not get the flexibility of that one that similar work you are going to do again and again so uh, flexibility so lower customization and thus customer rejection in spite of low cost so uh, similar kind of things also customer may reject because the so many times you are doing the similar activities not changing the activities so that's why also customer may not like that Uh, increased divergence, so greater custom customization and uh, the space positioning strategy. So increased divergence means so varieties of services we can able to provide. So here diversity is very high. So less dependence on volume. So what is the quantity? It is uh, expertise wise also person can be differentiated or person can be uh, separated from the different services. more margins as market so more margins also you can take that uh, different you if when you are splitting up the services into the different categories so uh, each category services you can charge the different charges but when the services are similar so you cannot charge more price on that so these are the advantages you are going to get disadvantages difficult to manage control and uh, distribute so uh, here you will find that uh, when different things are there Uh, so if somebody is not present so you cannot handle that one. it is more specialized services are there so more specialized services cases that the service person is not available means that services nobody else can give limited number of customers may be available so here it is another thing is that that all the services may not be required by the all the people but when it is a common services most of the people are going to uh, like that particular services so when the services are different so few services cases people may not interested to go for that kind of service so that these are the limitations will be now in the case of complexity we will find that reduced complexity indicates that <coughs> specialized strategy narrowing the service so less is the complexity means uh, it is quite easier for the marketer to uh, send uh, this send or give this particular services to the clients and clients also equally find quite easier for them to understand it Uh, can get this particular service very easily uh, the complexity is not much more uh, to explain or to give um, and the customer may not be confused about the service what is getting reduced complexity can also be perceived as a strip down service so uh, means uh, complexity will be less people are going to but means that is yes, uh, uh, for a limited service or uh, there is no newness in the services are there so customer may not be interested to pay more also for that one. it can be complex competitively risky for the providers continue to offer a product so uh, people having the product kind of services or the more complex services and if you are providing the simple services uh, customer may not come to you like i can say that uh, uh, 
uh, a particular doctor specialized in certain area you need a medicine doctor only so all the customers cannot all the patients cannot come to the medicine doctors because you have only the medicine doctors available and no no specialized doctors are available so and uh, that's why you will find day by day that uh, uh, the uniqueness or exclusive uh, doctors uh, uh, clinic uh, where are rare, rare customers are coming rather than people are coming to the uh, that is uh, corporate hospitals or you will find because all kind of diseases uh, you will get the services under the same roof increased complexity so here uh, when the complexity is more high complexity is one indicates a strategy to gain greater uh, penetration so more is the services when you are going to provide the number of customers will come more so increased complexity can increase efficiency so efficiency of the each services will increase or you can give the justified services because all cases that uh, may not be all kind of people will not be engaged all the time so find that uh, you can justify this one what the services you are providing too much complexity can be confused as a result of overall quantity may fall so too much complexity if i'm going to talk regarding specialist or specialist doctors are there so uh, unless until that particular division uh, the customer will require or the service requirement is there so people may not go to attend that doctor so that that's the kind of thing will happen and i liking uh, i likely uh, complex services system may be vulnerable to uh, uh, inroads by competitors who specialize on that one so mostly you are going to find uh, uh, the specialized service cases increased complexity also it is attracting but at the same time more complexity certain departments people may not come to get the service because this uh, departments are now quite unknown uh, in the market to the customers or to the patients and uh, if you're not so specialized or somebody has not report that services will remain idle that people may not uh, access that particular kind of services now four broad broad categories of services first is uh, people processing projection processing so people processing cases how people can able to deliver this particular kind of services what are any bits they are going to give here it differs actually from person to person and also service provider to service provider and it is a company in the case of position processing position processing the presence of customer is not required and the object that needs to be processed must be uh, present so what you are going to process and unlike for the uh, people processing services so the production and the are not necessary same. Yes, because tangible treatment is given to the physical processes of the customers during the processing process. So, all the kind of tangible things being uh, available to give the services that is the physical positions you have that particular way that is you are going to give the services to the customer. So, you need to make the arrangement kind of things like it is a X ray or if it is you are going to say an MRI or if you are going to say that particular case is only you have to fix it up all the services and automatically. the machine will work to give the services to the customer mental stimulus processing mental stimulus processing refers to the intangible activities that are direct to people's minds and having the ability to affect attitude and business behavior so uh, discussing talking or uh, uh, giving that uh, counseling the people like this kind of services so only mental stimulus process is working so you are talking only that means just like also the process like uh, two kind of treatments being given those who are already suffered from narcotic items so uh, one item is uh, that is they are providing the medicines that is a physical more second thing is they are providing the uh, mental stimulus by providing different kind of uh, informations the educating them regarding different kind of problems which is occurring during that particular process information processing so here uh, the computers and it things are there and uh, the processing takes place and that is the process given to the uh, customers by providing the different services through the it now let us see the classify the service process that tangible actions and intangible actions so tangible actions cases that is to the people and processes and intangible actions are mostly mental stimulus and informational processing 
so tangible action services directed at the people's bodies so here we find that we have already discussed that the examples like passenger transportation healthcare lodging beauty salons physical therapy fitness so here you are going to find that tangible items machineries are available and that is directly through the people they are trying to give the services to the customers or the clients that is tangible actions and position processing so here service directed at the physical positions so car repair free transport laundry and dry cleaning so that is through the machines you are trying as a individual you are going to do and that is the locations is available where you will get this kind of service because these people cannot come to the customer's point or the service the client's point so you need to go to their position area where you will get this particular kind of services intangible actions so mental stimulus service directed by the people's mind so here uh, you are trying to give the services to the customers like advertising arts entertainment broadcast broadcasting cable uh, that is uh, uh, we talk regarding the wifi systems and other things as yes, education information service music concerts so all these things are intangible and mental calmness uh, your education is developing so this kind of things the voice telephone being given also to educate to how to talk with the people and doing all these things so this is very often happening so mental stimulus uh, your mental stages being going to be changed if it is a long term or a short term and the different way uh, they are trying to change and here is mostly it is intangible actions information processing that uh, services directed at intangible assets so it is being given the intangible assets being given to that and accounting like uh, banking data uh, transfer uh, transmissions data processing so mostly is it happening through the computers you are going to do service directed at the intangible assets so through the softwares you are trying to do that is and uh, all the softwares being used for that one and uh, your work being done through that and software consulting also out of that now types of service delivery process so how the companies are trying to deliver the services through the different processes one is your line operations second is your job sub operations third is intermittent operations so here uh, we need to see that how these things are different from uh, each other line operations are the self service restaurants and shops examples of the operations so uh, when we are going to take the food in a particular hotel so we are in a queue or booking a ticket in a movie or we are in a queue and in the hotel uh, you will find that if it is a self service then one by one item we are picking up so these are all line operations and the sequence we are maintaining the sequence what should come first and what should come next in a self service department stores the consumer starts also and self service department store they are taking the bags and keeping up the different items and keeping it in the bags and finally they are in a queue for the final payment of this particular products for the purchased so these are all coming under line operations So by this line operations, uh, uh, one to one uh, services as the uh, one by one so services are available, and uh, you will maintain one sequence to collect the product or services. Mostly that is it. Now the consumers require a combination of services uh, using different sequences, uh, and the job shops type of operation is more useful. hospital restaurants mostly you will find this kind of things are there and last one is the intermittent operations that these are useful when the type of services is rarely repeated so no repetition of the services so within two services one services will be there so have proper consultancy for the projects using this kind of delivery system so any consultancy being being given to the customers or to the organizations mostly you will find and uh, that is once you require in your lifetime so if you are changing your services then you may require that again and again 
So here that uh, the farms are offering the consultancy service projects to the people and uh, that is for a shorter duration, a specific duration of time. Within that, they have to complete that particular process. Now, service blueprint. When you are going to talk with the service blueprint, this is very much essential that how a work is being done. Let us say if we are going to talk regarding if it is a hotel or if it is a hospital or if it is a uh, uh, aerodrome. So how the service is being happening and uh, before that you must have the service blueprint. So how the people are going to give the services and how the customers can able to get these particular services from the customers. So without making the blueprints, it's quite difficult to educate and inform the people how they can be able to give the services to the customers. So the first step in designing an effective service process is systematically plan and record and flow of activities. In blueprints, mostly you will find the what are the different flow of activities you are going to conduct. A service blueprint describes in detail the flow, sequence and interactions and dependencies among the many activities that may make up a service process including both the front and uh, front end activities and are visible to customers and all of the back end operations. So this is mostly you will find in the case of banks, uh, we have the front line executives or we can call them as a front end executives. And back-end executives are there, those who are providing the services. So one by one, the works are happening, like when the client is coming, asking for a particular kind of services from the bank. So frontline executives can able to understand the services what the required by the customer. So as for that, they try to process this particular thing and sending this particular, uh, what the minimum things has to be done in the frontline executives. Once they covered it up or completed it up, They are sending these particular files to the backend. So backend, there is a operations may require related to your transfer of money or opening an account or any activities where what is it happening? That is the core area where you will find the entire things being uh, monitored and entire things being also entered properly. And after that, once the entire thing will be happen again, they are going to send back this particular file to the frontline activities. And frontline executives, once he has verified that everything has happened in the right way, he is going to deliver that particular product or things to the customer by saying that this entire process is over. So these are the blueprint, uh, service blueprint stages. So it starts with the identify the process to be blueprinted. So this is, let us say, if I'm going to say the banking operation to be blueprinted or if it is a uh, railway reservation systems to be blueprinted, so like that, or we can say that uh, tourism uh, sectors uh, to be um, blueprinted, how the tourism sectors are operating, like that, or how are you booking the tickets in the flight? So, anything if you want to do the blueprint of that one, so how uh, these operations are happening and the time consumption for each operation and the total time durations. Uh, very often it has written just like we are going through this process like your uh, um, that is what we call a, it is a uh, passport service system so passport service system we have a b c d e like of concepts are there once the uh, a process will be over then you can go to the b process then b process is over you can go to the c then d and e and after e completed is there then your entire work is over and uh, they will give you this particular card after 10 to 15 days after the verification of the entire things about that one. So this is the same thing you will find that any uh, organization service uh, centers you want to make the blueprint. The stages are first step is coming. Identify the process to be blueprinted. Second is identify the uh, customer or the customer segment to whom you are going to provide the services. That is also important to know. Third is map the process from the customer's point of view. So uh, how this can be delivered that must be mapped uh, you are going to design map contact employees actions on stage and backstage and our technology actions so what are the different ways uh, the company can able to provide the services to the customers 
is a print form it is a by the postal services or it is a courier services or this must be uh, available in your organization so that they will come to verify your organization very well so these are the different stages you might have to go through that on so step four that step five is linked contacts activities to need needed support functions so when you require also the support services so how the support services can be provided by the company to the customers and the last one is the hard evidence evidence service at each customer's action uh, step so uh, you need to be also careful that uh, what the services are you providing what extent the customer is happy or unhappy uh, you try to take the feedback of that one and each stages of that one uh, whether the customers are satisfied or not that can be also monitored so that is building service blueprint now service blueprint service blueprint cases first is the identify the service process to be blueprinted and there are different levels at which blueprints can be created but regardless of whether it is a main process or a sub process so you need to see that uh, whether it is a sub process or it's a main process so you have to design first the main process and if it is going to the outside how sub process is related to the next is next process so that you need to identify very well and after that you just design that one what is the utility of the sub process and sub process time consumption timing and uh, what uh, length you will find of this particular sub process how many stages it has to go through step to identify the customer and customer segments we already discussed regarding to whom you are going to provide this particular kind of services so for that reason what you are going to do uh, you need to find it out that how to uh, which are the people they are going to get this particular kind of services and how are you going to meet this particular services so it's for their requirement whether your service provider can able to provide the service or not next is map the service process from the customer's point of view you just map it that how uh, the customers are going to take this kind of services so mapping means how these people will come and get this particular how the companies will provide uh, like uh, we know it very well during the vaccinations uh, a lot of issues came because of that the vaccination for all so it, it became a challenge for the government to how to give the vaccines so that's why they have designed that age wise discriminations they have maintained that uh, first they will give a particular age next another age like that then also so many counters are available the counter opening times then also you are going for the registration on that particular counter so that uh, if the call will come for to give the vaccinations your uh, name must be reflected on that particular center and at the same time also customers will go there to enjoy the uh, services from that particular touch points map contact employee actions or technology actions it involves interviewing or observing operations person to learn more about the task they want from in front of the customers so uh, although there is a service they are providing but uh, still also there is a requirement we know it very well that during our uh, election when the people are coming with the uh, election booth box so the booth box how to open how to collect this particular uh, Uh, votes of people and how uh, with confidentiality you can take this particular votes to their near counter so everything can be explained properly and employees being uh, narrated what are the different actions you need to take at the different timings if uh, that is broken or you are unable to locking it or any problem are you facing so you have the direct code of numbers being given by the government so that you can talk with those people regarding that one any misable occur during the uh, voting system next is coming that uh, step 5 is link contact activities to needed support functions so contact activities to the support functions once they have been initiated so once uh, the main functions being started that the uh, linked functions are contact activities to be needed support functions so Uh, what extent they require the support functions that must be available with these particular situations and these support services is continuously going to be provided so that uh, the customer is not going to be suffer uh, during the entire process step 6 are evidence of services at each 
and son of Chen. So finally enhance the blueprint by including the evidence of the service. So add evidence of service at uh, each customer action uh, step. So uh, these kind of things you are going to do from the beginning and uh, physical evidence for the services what you are going to give or giving that also you need to show and this emphasizes the visual size of the service that the customer experience. So uh, ultimately the customer is going to speak about that one or going to give the feedback regarding what the services provided by the company. So let us go through a particular hotel uh, to understand how service blueprints works. So first is when you are entering from the right hand side, you have seen that uh, that is registration system and before that you are coming to the left hand side when the customer will first enter to the hotel. So arriving at the hotel, so you are going to the first hotel room that is uh, the reception of the hotel and cart of the bags give bags to the bell person. So uh, the person who is going to book the ticket of yours. Uh, what he used to he used to do is uh, uh, find it out that what kind of things are there, and on the basis of that, he is going to uh, see and uh, deliver the services. So first is the cart or the bags. So uh, a trolley kind of things being given to the uh, person, so that where person will serve uh, service person will come to take your bags and bring that one. Uh, greet and take bags. So he will do this one. This is what we are going to say that the supply chain they are going to maintain with your baggage. And uh, during that process, uh, you are busy with the counter that is in the reception. So check-in process is going on. So you are entirely doing the registration system, process of registration, putting your name and doing all these activities. But your uh, bags and other things, greet and take bags and take bags to the room and deliver the bags. So in your room, your bags will be delivered already. And your room might be clean during that particular time and completely opened with the keys. And check in and go to the room when you will be in the room. You will simply deliver the keys and going to show you what are the facilities are available in the hotels. And the bags also they are going to deliver what they have taken it from the reception. Now uh, sleep sour that uh, you are to go there to the bathrooms and enjoy that one particular hotel rooms. Then after that, you may require that the food or something kind of things. So uh, that is for that reason, there is a phone call you are going to make that is call room services people and uh, order this particular food and uh, these people, another services, these people will take this particular food and they will prepare. They have the catering system or the hotels will be available at the ground floor. Either you may go to the uh, hotel to get back your food or you may order from your hotel rooms. And uh, these people, the hotel work is that once they will take the order, they will prepare the food and deliver in your room. So uh, they will again call you, uh, call room services, and you are going to receive this particular food. And finally, you are going to eat. And after certain days, if you stay in that particular uh, room, uh, then once the time duration will be over, that you have to leave for another destination. So that particular time, you require the checkout time and process checkout and registration system. So which day registration this particular paper, they are going to see how many days you have stayed there. So it's for that they are going to uh, give you the checkout ticket. So checkout ticket with the, all the payments being cleared so that they are going to provide. So this is what we want the entire service blueprint of a hotel. Now advantages of the service blueprint. What are the advantages you are going to get in the service blueprint? It provides the delivery process more clarity. So here we can able to understand what is it going to happen at the different stages. So it has more clarity. Allows for the identification of critical incidents. So what are the different uh, things uh, are there and uh, these uh, things can be possible or not. They are going to mention these other things cannot be possible or these other things can be possible. Encourage each center to make its own attempts to reduce cost and raise quality standards. So. Uh, all the points, uh, the service charges may not be uh, introduced because there are certain areas where you will find the free services are there and certain area you might be going to find some cost things are there. Uh, sometimes also some of the hotels for the swimming pools also they are charging some extra uh, or if you are planning for to play some uh, 
things or play instruments like that you have to pay some extra amount of money for that brings coordination operations in uh, prospective by highlighting the interdependencies across the different works so coordination in the operations must be there so that uh, you may, the customer may not find any difficulties to get the service provides information on the training needs for the employees so any need uh, training and it's for the employees that must be also uh, given during that particular process enable the management of the customer contact strategically at the designated touch point so uh, the management has the contact with that one this people allows for further improvement of the process so this is also more important that uh, if the customer is not uh, so satisfied or satisfied some extent so you need to change or improve this particular kind of process now customer involvement in the service process service encounter is the point where you will find that customer is meeting to the service provider so service encounter is when a customer interacts directly with the service and in some circumstances the entire customer service processes can be shuttered into a single encounter so rather than to go through the multiple stages sometimes in the reception area you will start there they will do the entire work of yours not to go for the payment gates or not to go for other areas so enter things they will do a single door services they are going to provide nowadays also hospitals also they have started with the single door services when you are going to require multiple services within the uh, hospitals so any counter you can use to do this one it's not essential that uh, where are you going to get the service that counter so as the counter is most of the time are busy in some of the counter so that's why in order to avail the service in other counter so you can make a uh, billing of yours in any other counters also which are present near within that particular uh, organization so high contact service there is a three categories also can be divided high contact service low contact service and this one just like in the banks you will find that where the teller is there cash delivery or dd so is the highest uh, contact services majority of the people who works are there only second is that those who are uh, interacting to give this particular services to those people so they are also equally important so in the case of high contact services customers regularly visit the service managing the service process facilities customers actively participate with the service provider throughout the service delivery process so here what uh, the facilities being given to the customers and customers are also equally participated actively to get back the service so anybody is in the laziness stage so he may suffer because of high contact services medium contact services in case of medium contact service customers inputs are required and in order to help the service providers in developing delivery so here uh, like medium cases the first time you form fill up so once you filled up the form there is no requirement of that particular services so for that is coming under medium everybody has to go through that particular process but once the work will be over no repeated work is essential so that is what the medium contact services is low contact services which is at all not essential like uh, if the security is standing on the hospital or in hotels so very rarely you are required your requirement is there for that kind of services so majority cases you are getting the services directly from the service provider they are from the employees now the labels and examples of the customer participation as well the different services so low cases moderate cases and high cases so you will find that uh, examples airline cases you will find the low customer presence uh, required during the service productions hotel cases also same thing fast food cases also the same thing means once you get the service no need for the more number of services or once you have interacted the entire services over second moderate cases here caught every time you are asking and you are getting the different services and multiple charges also possible that you want to do the multiple uh, first here caught then you are going for the owner of other part also so that all these things also that is possible these things are happening uh, examinations cases also the same thing you will find that uh, process uh, has gone through that uh, you have to give the examination cards and doing all these things uh, full service restaurants also you are going to get all kind of services uh, you can take the food you can get this one uh, services then the liquor services so so many things are there so you can get it 
and high customer concretes means you require a lot of time to do that one that is marriage counseling regarding that one divorce counseling regarding that one so these cases mostly you will find the time and resources and uh, personal training cases also that's the thing so you are giving charges and weight reduction programs also it's a long term process the gym trainer is going to educate what the food pattern and doing all this thing and b2b cases that is uniform cleaning services is the low one pest control is also low one interior cleaning maintenance also low one that is once they will come or twice they will come the service will be over second moderate cases agency created advertising campaign so frequently you are going for the advertisement or payroll services to see your employees work and free transportation continuously there is a department is working for that and high customer uh, services concern managing consulting also consultancies they are the, throughout the year training sessions is there executive manager seminars so all the seminars you are going to conduct installation of computer networks also now role of customer in service process is that specify so uh, marfred and dopnik have classified the role of customer in service transactions in five categories so one is specify transferer abandoner co producers co user so let us go for the specify so specify this is what it is happening the customer frequently need to specify the purchase order and convey specific requirement from the desired service so very often this kind of things are also happening that a uh, uh, customer is very much interested for a particular kind of services and and that services companies has to give and they are specifying that these services they require more or more time that is going to be happen so that particular cases also the time consumption is more the process the transferer many services need the customers to be perform preliminary tasks that require the transfer of people or goods before the main service process can begin so uh you are you are you are transferring this particular once this particular goods being happening then after that the Uh, mostly you will find that uh, in the case of postal services once so this particular product been gone to one place to another person next uh, services can be taken up and they are going to do that one abandoner a consumer abandon something when they interact with the service so some of the services may not liked by the customer so he may not use this kind of services or he dislikes this kind of services that particular case so if the customer decides not to use the service they have the use for time for the other purposes mostly you will find that in the um, gaming zone cases certain games people do not want to play also they are afraid of that particular place so that's why that. the co producer is a co producer the customer actively takes part in the services production so uh, you yourself is involving in that particular process sometimes i can say that some of the hotels are available where you will find that both clients and the service provider work together sometimes they are inviting the clients if they require any specific kind of dishes uh, where the customers involvement is essential what extent what kind of ingredients he requires that is a specialized uh, dish so that particular cases they are also equally inviting the customers to do that the co user the term co user refers to the specific service interaction in which multiple customers participate at the same time so multiple customers you are going to participate at the same time you are going to do that and that can be possible that uh, you are going to give assignments and uh, that particular time everybody is trying to do that particular assignments or it's a training program so multiple customers at the same time you are going to interact with all the people how are they doing that means the training program this is mostly that is happening now customer switching so why customers are switching from one services to next is first is the pricing if it is more pricing then people might be going to think some services they may get with the lower price like a if a parlor is going to charge more price then people are going to search other parlors are available where they will find that not the inferior one it's for the service standards they may prefer some other brands but they can able to pay and for the service they so excessive pricing so price increase sometimes that are the same services continuously as you have taken they are increasing the price on fair pricing means they are taking the advantages of that the shortages of this kind of services no good no else uh, uh, you will find the parlors or the hair cut salons are available so these people are charging very high or the iron they are going to give so they are charging very high because they, there is no other iron person 
mislead or deceptive pricing means uh, uh, some pricing you are going to give that is uh, false pricing you are going to give unnecessarily you are charging very high or charging very low so that is misleading or deceptive pricing so that customer can experiment with this kind of services next is the inconvenience the location is not uh, convenience you do not have the vehicle or you can't move such a distant area to get where this particular service or the time what they are prescribing that time you might be busy with your own task or in the office so these are all coming under your inconvenience poor service failures means uh, service mistakes that means uh, uh, if you a centralized uh, ac is working and the uh, ac all the area is a uh, hit some or cases the temperature is very high that means the massive things has happened the poor service failures service encounter failures so uncaring impolite irresponsible unknowledgeable like uh, uh, you are unable to do the service as per the requirement because your knowledge is limited or uh, you do not have the knowledge in that particular area or uh, you are not cooperating to give this one response to the service failures negative response no response will not so it depends on the what way customers are giving the uh, responses sometimes they are giving also positive responses this thing has happened first time so you just rectify i'm ready to take that sir second is that it is a negative they he or she doesn't want to do because it is already negative and third one is that no response neither they will pick up your phone call nor do that one and Reluctant responses is that not willing to give. Got it. So response to service failures is negative response, no response, and you know. Next is uh, competition. So find better services so when the competition is too strong in the services. Customers are always searching for the better things where they will get so that they will get the advantage out of them. Then ethical problems. So. Ethical issues being there, that you feel that this is on sub on sub services we should not go by that. So that particular business customer may switch over. Involuntary switching customers move to a provider that is closed. That means the moment you have been to the service center, the service center is closed, or your time is mismatching to his time like that, or that one also. Now complaints and service recovery. So what kind of complaints is it coming, and how to recover this one? The provider gets the chance to fix the problem and return the customer. So sometimes the customer problems are continuously one kind of problem is happening. So he will look after that one by seeing that one. These are the problems occur because of that. So many people suffered. So next time they are told that this is this type of problem will not be there. So that is service recovery can be possible. Complaints can point the areas of the uh, business that need. So complaints are very frequently is it coming then if you are unable to solve it also. That will remain for more days or forever. So complaint management. So how to do that one? So first is the visibility. Uh, customers should uh, know uh, where to complain. So this is also more important that uh, where to complain. This one, the place of complaining. This one, like let us say, if you are not getting the services as per your requirement, like in the medical cases, you are not getting the doctors are not available or something. So customers should know where to complain. So to whom to complain also. Accessibility customers should know the how to complain. So this is also to hand it in or through by the mail or to how to send this information that I have not got this kind of services what I paid for. So these kind of things are. Responsiveness complaints need to be dealt with quickly. So how quickly they are dealing with the some complaints like. Uh, uh, if you do not have the DTS system today, Tata Sky is not working, and after repeated calls to that, also nobody is responding. That electricity is not coming after a repeated complaint to that one, also the mechanics or electrician is not coming. So the responsiveness also takes a vital role that complaint uh, will be remained or the complaint is solved. Customer focused approach, a service provider who adopts customer focused approach, invites complaints and indicates commitment to reach out complaints. So uh, here management from his side, own side, asking too many questions to the customers regarding whether they're satisfied or not. Uh, very often that uh, these uh, Tata style people, then hoteliers, then car service centers and the ornament centers, they are making the phone call that uh, any complaints are there on any service approach, customer focused approach that. Uh, yeah, to find any problems from our side like that. 
accountability sometimes someone in the organization has to take the responsibility for complaint handling so uh, too many complaints are coming to the company but nobody is there to handle this particular problem so to whom you can talk regarding any problems so accountability means one person has to be taken the responsibility for the accountability of that one continuous improvement this is about looking at the root causes and fixing them so if you are continuous improvements you are going to do so people will be quite confused that uh, why these kind of things are happening that uh, uh, means the services what they are providing they are not conform or they are not able to solve the problem so that's why every time they are changing the continuous improvements are there now the conceptual model of the complaint management it, it will starts with that one the complaint culture some of the people have the complaint cultures they will always whatever the service you may provide their attitude is that to complain and do that one then it is going to the complaint processes so how the complaint can be handled where once you are given this particular complaint so it will go to the complaint process from constant complaint process uh, it is going to the employee attitude what you are what who is the person who has provided this particular complaint and customer satisfaction that is also complete process cases they want to see that whether customers are satisfied of that or not if they are dissatisfied that service will be continued or not so this kind of things mostly that is coming to the mind so complete processes and then it is coming the employee attitude so this is also employee attitudes being also studied are they satisfied or they are within this particular organizations uh, is there any um, is there any problem related to the employees in the organizations are he facing any kind of problem in the organizations so that is also that can be known by this if the employees not satisfied mostly complaints will be more and they rather than they solving the complaints they will enhance the complaints and after that employee retention whether how what is the percentage of employee remained actually so their retention is more than uh, that means employee will be employee will be giving better services to the customer if the retention is there no retention is there then chances is very high that customer or employees are frequently changing to the in the organizations they are not uh, remaining within this particular organizations that particular this is this is also very vital part that and one complaint processes that process improvement so here you are going to find that complaint came to your organization on a particular point so how to improve that particular process so that complaint can be reduced so for process improvement so there is a financial performance financial performance also required because that uh, uh, if you are improving the process there is a cost associated with that one so at the same time so at uh, in the organizations financial performance can be more when the customer satisfaction and customer retention are more because more is the satisfied customers are in the market so they can able to create a good brand image of that particular brand or company so that brand image uh, will uh, will give the advantages to the companies so that they will remain for more number of years and they are also financially too sound so here two things are coming to the picture three things are coming to the picture one part is the customer part second part is the employee part third part is the process part so process is being through that uh, customer is one particular point and second particular point employees there and here we will find that uh, the process is also through the machinery what the machinery is being used uh, to producing the different kind of services and how the services can be delivered and when the services delivered by the employees or through machines to the customer what extent the customer is also satisfied the so customer satisfaction and if he is satisfied then retention is also very high that is also the same thing in the case of employee if your employee attitude is good regarding the particular organizations although the complaints are coming if they are going to talk that uh, Uh, our organizer is very nice all the complaints are coming from that one and we are we can able to sort it out this kind of problem very shortly and do this one 
So by this process, the employee retention will be more. So more employee retention means more employee satisfaction. So when employee satisfaction is there, so automatically the service provisions will be better up. And if it is through the machine also controlled by the service people or the people. So both the cases you will find there is a service improvement. So process improvement has happened. So when there is a process improvement, automatically you will find that the customer satisfaction will be there. And more is the customer satisfaction, you will find cost mostly you will find more is the customer retention. So more retention means more product they want to purchase. So financial performance of the organization will be better. So now the service recovery strategies, what are the different strategies being adopted or companies are going to adopt so that uh, they can able to provide the best services to the customer. Measure the cost of effective service recovery. So recovering services, what will be the cost? Let us say earlier you are providing the best services, today you are unable to provide because of you do not have that kind of employees or you do not have that kind of infrastructure or you do not have enough money to start it with. So that particular case is what you will do. Three things out of three things, mostly you will find that that how you can improve uh, your organization so that uh, service recovery will be there. So you can recover the service of the customer. Next is break customer silence and listen closely for the complaints. So when the customers are complaining, so that particular time they are not silent, they are talking something. So the whole part they are talking, we have to give the attention to that. They are talking is more important for every companies those who are providing the services because if you are not handling the complaints today of a single customer, that will become a bigger issue later on. So the break the customer silence. So when the questions are service recovery, you are going to do in the better way. So customer can be able to uh, take that particular service very well. Anticipate needs for recovery. So you came to know that the service standard is deteriorating or you are unable to provide that particular standards not provided by the competitors. So you anticipate that there is a need of service recovery. So that the standards what you are maintaining, so that service recovery you are going to do. Next is act first. So it is also today very much essential that every service organizations are providing almost similar kind of services. So how quickly you can able to provide your services that plays a vital role. So most of the customers are attentive to the services which are acting very fast and also night services they are liking a lot. Next is coming train and empower employees. So you'll find uh, that employees you need to train it and properly by providing the different kind of equipments and also how to deliver everything can be and empower also employees means they have the decision making power so that they can take the decisions regarding that. Then close the customer uh, feedback loop also that uh, never try to maintain a bigger size loop. A feedback loop will be a shorter one so that uh, that means that the number of questions you are asking will be less one so that uh, people can get back their feedback very soon and the employees will work very well on the basis of that. And now the finally we are going to find that the areas of operation and explanation, process planning and control, how you are going to do this one, issues in process management, how to solve this one. Operations planning, you have to do the better operation, detail specify the operations, what you are going to do. Facilities design, you are going to say that what facilities you are going to provide and you design according to that one. Inventory planning, when inventory will be over and dying and quality controls also you are going to do maintaining that one and what way you can able to maintain the quality of services. Operations control, what the flows of information are going or flows of services you are going that also you are going to control. Forecasting or doing the long term plan that when this thing will come and again your repetition of that one can be possible and you can able to handle and you can able to do these kind of issues would not be again and again. So that is going to be done very well. So I think that today's sessions we are uh, very well able to design and able to see that how the process is going to help you by delivering the services uh, to the customers. 
and day by day there is a improvement in the process also if we are going to talk regarding if it is a medical services or if it is a hotel the electronic things are being introduced so that the services are better off and uh, this process uh, every time the innovations process are taking place and people are getting better services